At the house that we were in, we built from the ground up. We went to the little salesperson and we picked the color tile we wanted in our house and the walls and the carpet and it was our baby. And our neighbors were our best friends. I had my daughter in that house. And about eight years into living there, he wanted to move and I didn't want to let go. I was not okay with it. He would drive around on a random Sunday morning to look at properties and I'm like, why are we looking at these? We're not moving, we're staying in our house. And sure. he, he just kept pushing and pushing and pushing to the point where I was kind of getting annoyed. But um, I guess he was looking online one day at work and he found some property he was interested in. And he contacted the site Mm -hmm. that how it works? I sent an email to Texas Land Real Estate or something like that. And Amirza called him right away, mm -hmm. like right back. And he was like, oh shoot, I wasn't that serious. I was just looking. And she asked if we wanted to meet up and talk. And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. And he schedules this appointment and he tells me about it. And he was in really big trouble because I was not ready to meet a realtor because that meant it was going to be a real thing. And... So I, I drug my feet, but we ended up doing it, and she came over one night after, after I got off work, mm -hmm. and she was professional, and she was to the point, but she, did she research, yeah. very informative on our house and houses around us and what we possibly get for our house. But it wasn't just all business either, because I didn't care about that. I didn't want to give up my house. I didn't care about making money. I didn't care about what the value of our house was. I did. <laughs> she was, she was kind and understanding, and she, I felt like she got me. And I, and I told her right away. I wasn't playing around. I was like, he wants to do this. I don't. I'm not interested in selling my house. And I, I couldn't even repeat what she said because I don't have the gift that she has to talk. But um, she talked to me in a way and said things that made me think it would be okay if we did. So that was, I needed that breakthrough, he didn't, but that's when I decided, okay, maybe we can see where this goes. And now it happens, because we're here. <laughs> Two years later, now we're in their retirement home. Well, not retirement, until she gets out of high school at least. She was the nicest one and the most informative one out of everyone that we contacted. I caught, not I contact a lot, but I did contact several, and she was the one that was the most professional and would reply almost instant, instantly. And if she didn't know the answer to my question, she'd call me back within a couple of hours with the answer, whether I liked it or I didn't like it. Um, I didn't know yeah. you contacted a bunch of other people. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do, man. <laughs> I was ready to get out of that house. I get it. Mm -hmm. They're super professional. Like Wes said earlier, if they didn't know the answer to a question, number one, they didn't fake it or pretend like they knew. I guess that's the same thing. Um, but they admitted that they didn't know everything, which built our confidence in them because we knew that they would take the the necessary steps in order to figure out the answer to our questions. Um, and the, what would provide us the best scenario pos possible from either selling our old home or getting into our new home. We weren't very pushy and if the questions that we had, mm -hmm. they like, ah, well I'm not sure, let me go check or let me do a little bit of research. And then it wasn't within a couple hours, you know, Amir was emailing or calling us back. I said, okay, this is what I found, this is what we got going on, this is what you can do, this is what you can't do. The process of them getting, walking us through this whole process, we didn't go a day without talking to her. I mean, I actually got really sad the last day when we finally closed on this house because it's like, wait, I'm not gonna see you again. I used to hear from you or talk to you or text you every day, of, not multiple times a day, but just, I, I felt like we were her only clients because she dedicated so much time to us. Time and energy. She's got mm -hmm. a ball of energy. Oh my gosh. Jeez. She's got to be like taking vitamins. I don't know. <laughs> and then the story we told you about 
Carlos walking us through one of the houses because Amir, Amirza wasn't available. That was kind of another turning point for me because we hadn't even decided to put our house on the market at that point, but we found this house that we were interested in and when we walked through it with Carlos, I saw potential in another home away from the one that I didn't want to give up and <laughs> that made me want to go further with the process. So we decided on like a Thursday that we were going to sell our house and spent the weekend cleaning and decluttering and organizing. By Monday, Amirza came to take pictures, put a sign in our front yard, had it up on Tuesday, and by Tuesday night, we, we had, had three, three offers. offers on our house. One of the offers was way over the asking price. So much over, the, with, I mean, it was just like, I guess this was meant to be. We had our choice, and it was, it was within a day, 24 hours, and, our house went from on the market to under contract. Yeah, it was it was insane. So that I I know that didn't happen coincidentally. I think it was her knowledge and research that she did to yeah. for the job for the market where the uh, the house was in. Yeah, because she did, she did a whole PowerPoint presentation the first day we met her on what the possibilities were in this home with this square foot. You know, school excuse me sold for this much. And the add-ons that we've done to that house, possibly more for here, better or worse, or uh, even like I was gonna, we had dogs and it tore apart some of the carpet. I was like, well, I gotta replace all the carpet. She's like, no, you don't. I was like, who, what buyer would want to come in here and tear and buy a house with carpet that's torn up? She's like, they're probably gonna come in and tear your carpet up anyway, so. That could be a negotiating tool, and that's just another example that we stuff that we talked about that I didn't even think about. Yeah. And we got more over our asking price for the house with that having to replace the carpet. So it saved us money right there. Mm -hmm. It was just an amazing experience. Would I refer the Gladys Group? Absolutely, hands down, I would. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only through the whole process from the finances, we're hooking us up with Rick. And I think it's Gold Financial where we did our, our finance through. That was a very seamless uh, process we went through to actually looking at homes and to pricing our home affordable where we can actually uh, sell it and then get into our house and transition into our new house way faster than we thought it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and even post two years later, you know, getting invited to a Christmas party and, yeah. and, uh, How's it going every now and then to get like we got a birthday card and the Christmas cards and you know, is there anything we can help you with? How's the house going? Oh, and she sent out the the group sent out the notices for the homestead exemption. Make sure yeah. you file for this. Yeah. And don't forget about that and, and make sure you get a homeowner's insurance on this. So not just, oh hey, you close on your house. Okay, thank We're you. Done. Bye. Yeah. It's hey, don't forget about this. Or hey, don't forget to file for this. Or don't for, what about this? Well, even going back to, I mean, I, I think a lot of it was my attachment with her because she helped me through such an emotional period. Um, I, I felt like she knew me. I don't know if that's because Amir's is my girl or if she's just that good at what she does. But um, we, actually, I was by myself because he was working in Houston. Um, but she and I went to walk for three or four different houses to find the new house that we we're going to buy. And the first three, um, one of them I was kind of trying to force to make work and I, I can't decide because I'm on my own and I'm overwhelmed. And I said, what do you think? And she didn't she didn't solicit her advice. She was professional enough to, to wait. But when I asked, she said, I think you can get more for your money than, than this house. Let's look at some other ones. And I needed that push and encouragement and she sensed that for me. Um, and then this, the house we're in right now, was the last house that we walked. And she, she, she walked ahead of me, and she unlocked the door, and she opened the door, and she stepped inside, and then she turned around with this huge smile on her face, and she closed the door back, and she's like, I need you to walk in here. Like, she knew that as soon as I walked into that ho this house, that this was going to be the one that I liked. I don't know how she knew that, but she did. So that was awesome. Um, but just uh, experiences and connections like that, she and Carlos feel more like, like are more than just 
people we worked with. They're our, they're our friends, they're our family. And they've, I mean, she came to Haley's birthday party last year and um, the, the Christmas party. Have you heard about the Christmas party? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> um, that we just keep getting invited to those things and we keep hearing from them and we keep seeing them and we keep them in our lives. And I think that shows how much their, their clients aren't just clients to them. And even being around her post, um, selling our house I hear how she talks about her clients like not not us but her other clients and you can tell it it matters to her it's important to her and Carlos too it's it's not just a job it's not just a contract it's them wanting to help people and I see that and hear that time and time again with her so that's why I would totally recommend them to anybody So we should have mentioned it earlier, but uh, um, so during the closing process, uh, I was unable to attend when we were supposed to close because uh, my prior obligation teaching at the fire academy. Well, she set up the closing at the fire academy at 5:45 in the morning before I started teaching my class. She coordinated everything, and they came out to us. It was like a 45 minute drive. It was a 45 minute drive because the fire academy where I teach at is way out in Lytle. And my class starts at uh, 0630. And they were there at 0530, 0545. We were closing on this on this house right here. So that way I wasn't late to go start my class. Or didn't have to take a day off. I didn't have to take a day off. I didn't lose any pay for it. Yeah. Or take any vacation or anything like that. So that was a breath of fresh air right there. Over a stressful period just buying a home and closing on a home. So she made it very, very easy and workable. Flexible, that's a better word, flexible. <laughs>